matter you are a business in Malaysia or any country, uh, a new startup, SME or corporate, you have to plan ahead of your online brands and always uh, think big. So um, I would like to uh, highlight a few things that uh, normally uh, our clients will ask us. So uh, please take note that even if you have a trademark registered, it does not guarantee that you are entitled the exact trademark domain name uh, because uh, it's subject to the domain availability. And domain name is always uh, based on first come first serve basis. So uh, my advice to a new startup, first uh, they have to check the domain name availability and register domain name before their trademark. So because the cost to register a domain name is uh, relatively cheap, However, uh, some extension may cost a thousand. Uh, it depends on the domain extension you choose. Uh. So uh, for a local Malaysia business, uh, you are advised to get at least a local extension like a dot .my and .com .my plus a traditional .com. So this probably uh, will only cost you uh, maybe around uh, 250 ringgit something. Uh. So uh, what you have to do for the domain, of course, uh, you have to fully utilize and maximize your online presence. So you can make a .com as your official website, while for the .my and .com .my, you can do a URL for a redirection to your main website. So uh, you can maximize your domain names. Mm -hmm. uh, now I would like to share the brand protection and promotion strategy for SMEs and corporates on how uh, you can maximize exposure of your brand uh, digital presence. So basically, uh, this is the guide where we will share to our client, but then uh, today I will share it to uh, all, of, all of you here. So first, uh, you can consider in register a popular GDLD like uh, um, .net, .biz, .info, .org, etc. And also second, uh, register a CCTLD where you have an office or business activity. So let's say if you have a business in Malaysia, uh, of course, you must register a .my domain name. And if you have business in Singapore, of course, uh, it's a .sg domain name. So uh, next, uh, you probably have to covering up to a uh, top 10, top 25, 50 e-commerce uh, country because right now uh, e-commerce is actually a uh, burst so uh, you can consider in register the country where uh, having a high volume of uh, transaction of e-commerce. And next also uh, to select new GDLD related to your industry. So let's say if you are in a hotel business, uh, you probably have to consider to register a .hotel. And also uh, for a customer where uh, they have a problem with the brand abuse, they are more likely to register a target of domain abuse like a singular, plural, trademark, slogan, and common misspelling domain. So it will help to protect your brand name. And then uh, the last one, uh, this is for the SEO purpose. Uh, some of the brands, uh, they will register the name of their brands or product and including the location at behind of the domain. So uh, for example, uh, if you are a ABC hotel, then uh, you are, your business is actually uh, based in uh, Kuala Lumpur, then you can register like ABC hotel, Kuala Lumpur.com and continue with the local extension. Mm -hmm.